guys, this is Lungaya and welcome back to Grim. It's been a while, but let's try and do the Master Thief. Let's make stuff dirty. Stories of redemption, prodigal sons returning, hearts of gold hookers reforming, captivate the gullible. Does a self-described master thief, who honors his parents, respects authority, sympathizes with the poor, and steals only from strangers, deserve our approbation, envy, or respect? Good day, your worship. How might we serve you? Cook me some potatoes, my man, just as you like them, and we'll eat them together. Poor folk must humor the whims of their betters, I suppose. While my wife cooks the spuds, you can watch me work. Not my idea of how to pass the time before dinner, but some philosophizing needs doing. You can't straighten crooked trees, Your Honor. Like children, you need to train them while they're young. Discipline must be maintained. Had you trained your son while he was young, perhaps he would not have left home. Perhaps. But he would learn nothing and was full of bad tricks. He grew misshapen, and I did nothing to reform him. But how do you know? I am he, father. Know me by this birthmark. Good God, but my son, how have you come to live in wealth and luxury? I'm a master thief, father. No lock or bolt prevents me from fleecing the superfluity of the rich and sometimes sharing it with the poor. Alas, my beloved son, a thief is still a thief. This will end badly, I'm sure. If your godfather, the Count, learns your trade, he will see you hang. Be easy, father. He will do me no harm. I will go to him myself this very day and earn his respect, if not his forgiveness. Confidence sort of a git, is he not? A wiser man might just have eaten, kissed his mum and run. But up he goes to the Count's castle and tells all. That's it, my lord. The voyage from apprentice to master has been arduous, rough seas and bad weather, but ultimately rewarding. Indeed. I'm all admiration for your accomplishments and acquisition. Still, you're a confessed criminal and should by rights be hanged. But as I'm your godson, mercy will take the place of justice. On this occasion only. It will, but I have a reputation to protect. So I'll put your art to the test. If you fail, you must marry the rope maker's daughter. Fair enough. Think of three tasks, as difficult as you like. And if I do not perform them, do with me what you will. Mark what I say, as your life depends on it. First, steal my horse from its guarded stable. Second, steal my wife's wedding ring and the sheet on which we are sleeping. Third, steal the parson and the clerk from the church. As you wish, my lord, I take my leave. I would have kept on walking, frankly, to China. But our thief's a proud bugger. He disguises himself as an old woman, laces a cask of wine with knockout drops, and returns to the castle. Oh, mother, come warm yourself. Perhaps we might taste more of your excellent wine. I live by trade, but fair words go far with me. Drink as much as you like. Oi, you're a lifesaver, Granny. As cold as a Siberian witch's t uh, tin pot. <laughs> Let's have another swig, eh, mate? Right you are. I got a first you could draw a picture of. Bring it on. We'll have... Uh... <sniffs> Without witnesses, the thief wraps the horse's hooves in rags and silently rides away. Next, the Countess's wedding ring and bedsheet. The thief lugs a corpse he's collected from the gallows through the Count's garden. <sighs> This promises to promote some mischief. All the doors are locked and bolted. I'll stay awake. If he tries to get in by the window, I'll shoot him. Save us the trouble of a hanging. Well, try to be quiet about it. I'm very tired. It's, it's me, Godfather. Might we comprom... Ah! I killed! Silence, please. I tried to sleep. I've shot the master thief, my dove. Well, fine. Shut up already. I'm exhausted.
My little cockatoo, the master thief is dead. But as he is my godson, and to spare his parents, I won't expose his shame. I'll bury him myself. Give me the bedsheet to wrap the body. You seem to care more for this criminal than for my beauty sleep. Very noble. <laughs> Indeed, I am magnanimity itself. Give me your ring, too. He risked his life for it, so he may take it with him into his grave. Oh, what a ninny you are. Take it. You'll need to get me a better one. Oh, please. What an unperceptive dolt she is. How generous, my lord, to bury a common criminal. Ah, it's you. Very clever. Well, even a twice-killed corpse deserves a decent burial. You're a capable thief, and so far have found your way. But there's still a third task. And if you fail, all is lost. The master thief silently walks away, and under cover of darkness, he takes a long sack and a lantern to the village churchyard. With some hermit crabs and wax candles, the master thief creates some creepy lamps. The last day is at hand. Hell fire creeps up from below. People, get ready. Your maker will be met. Promises of Judgment Day always attract a ready audience. The end of all things is near. Whosoever wishes to go to heaven must come with me. I am Peter, the gatekeeper of heaven. Behold how the dead outside are collecting their bones. Come, creep into my sack before the world is destroyed. It would not be amiss if we were to use this opportunity to find an easy way of getting into heaven. <laughs> I thought exactly. So, if you are inclined, let's jump in the sack post-haste. You, pastor, have precedence. I will follow. <laughs> to the holy, or those who wish they were, a clever disguise and a compelling line of apocalyptic patter can be very convincing. The master thief has only to turn over his catch to the count and win his escape from the hangman's noose. Congratulations. You are indeed a master thief and have cheated death this time. But you must leave my land or risk your handsome neck. I will go, my lord, proud of my mastery, but ashamed that it deprives me of your good opinion and the opportunity to be a comfort to my parents' old age. So he left. No one ever heard from him again. Blah, blah, blah. Jeez. Am I the only one who is in Gaga for tales of redemption? And who's redeemed anyway? The thief? He repays his parents' unrequited love by disappearing forever. Big show off. If this resolution works for you, please get out in the world more. If not, play on. At least there wasn't a wedding in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> He just loves his wedding. The master thief visits his parents at the humble family home. Why now? Given his profession and his long absence, I suspect an ulterior motive. I likes me motives ulterior. You <laughs> make it gross. Let's grim it! Let's grim it, that's a new one. Yeah! Don't lag. Thank you very much. Toodles! Ooh, I missed playing this. I haven't played it for a few days, but I actually like playing this. It's so uncomplicated. It's just so fun. Just make stuff dirty. It's fun. Ow! Smelly! Oh, and the 
get the house? Nope. Get the other stuff though. Seeing people I still can't get. No. Ooh, lovely. Stump and stump. Awesome. Yes, let's. Let's go, let's go. Oh no. Damn it. I wanted to have gold. Stump and good. This conventional, boring village just became a lot more interesting. Arboreal locomotion is, ah. dare I say, unusual. Shit. And I smell a motive. The thieves' father blathers on and on about twisted trees, etc., etc. What might he say if they suddenly became murderous, moving monsters? Let's put it to the test. They eat flesh, you know. Make it. Rotten. It's a very interesting tale. I never actually heard about or of this one as well. Have you ever? Did you guys ever hear heard of this tale? This one is really, uh, yeah. No idea. Not one of the fairy tales you ever, you ever hear. <laughs> Probably because they didn't make it in a normal time. There's a lot of blood. Oh, it's nice. Excuse me, tree. Excuse me. Okay. We good? Nope. Still a long way to go. And I, oh. Go here. Go. Get this stuff. Out of the world. And get a new book. Hey! Don't you get fucking clean on me. I hate it when they do that. Fuck it there. Oh, oh! Camera! <laughs> Rump and stump! Nice! But stop oh, it! It's so black and white now, that's so cool. They're very angry, or perhaps upset. They may be under the control of an agent of supreme and unnatural evil. I'll teach this one some manners. By the look in his eye, eyes, whatever, he's determined to exterminate the source of this evil. Next. The brilliant brigand dabbles as a do-gooder. He's secretly searching for the cause of this gross and unpredictable evil. Make it stinky. Let's tone down those colors. <laughs> I like it that they that he has new stuff to say. Because it was getting a bit boring. He says, let's move. Yeah. And it feels like the controls are a little bit better for some reason. I don't know. It is season two, so it might have changed a little bit. Smelly. They feel a little bit better. Come on. Step in. Oh, I see you. I love running! I love it! Stop it! Yes! Okay! I'm going! <gasps> yeah! How the fuck did I get there though? Can I just do it? Oh, I'm going to turn those to the account's righteous exterior. He must be exposed. Yes. Make it rotten. Okay. Let's do this! Shit, I have to 
jump the fishies. I'm guessing. Uh, it's gonna be awkward. We're jumping. Are you kidding me? Fuck no! Oh. Oh well. I, I just... yeah. That's just a game being a tool, you know? I made it! And I just slipped off the edge. Just like that. That's just not nice, is it? Now, you are always good. That's not just now. You're always next. That's how you roll. Okay. Come on, man. I need to be foul. Why am I? Why is not Yes. Come on, please. Oh my God! So close. Come on. Oh, I don't want to miss myself. Oh, really? I need to go outside again. Damn it, I have to go back, don't I? Damn it, I don't want to. Okay, let's go back. Oh, don't you dare fall off. Don't you dare. Okay. Some more stuff here. Woo! Goes fast. Now who's See? Foul. I knew it. Bastards. There we go. I'm getting this stuff just in case. Since our thief has been away, the Count has become enamored of Dracula. Make it nasty. Okay. 
So how do I get over there? No idea. It remains a mystery. Are they cleaning inside again? Stop. Bitches. Go. Don't delay, but stomp away! There goes with the power. Nice. <sighs> Black and white. So awesome. So, how do I get across? I'm a bit confused. We're familiar with the Count's yeah. wicked tasks. First, steal the horse, then take the ring and sheep. Grim Wind up with extracting two creatures the from the sausage. church. The professional purloiner now has work to do. Oh my god, that is so cool. I love that new thing with the sausage. Sausage power! So awesome. Well guys, hope you, you enjoyed. I did. Uh, leave a like if you did. And hopefully see you guys on the next video. Bye!